We all know the power of Facebook group just because of its massive potential reach through the Facebook platform and the unique opportunity it presents to directly engage with your potential members and customers through the platform. But have you ever wondered how you can use your Facebook groups to collect relevant and usable data for your business or how you can collect leads or email addresses from Facebook group to have an outside communication with your potential customers. In, in this video, I will be showing you how you can gather relevant information from Facebook group and how you can store it in a uh, usable uh, database or how you can store it in a Google Sheets or I will be also showing you how you can collect email addresses or leads from this Facebook group and you can either save it on a Google Sheet or you can directly uh, connect with your favorite email marketing solution. Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Alston. First, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to this channel and you would love to see more videos like this explaining digital marketing tools or help helpful digital marketing videos, then make sure to click on the subscribe button and bell notification so you will get notified on new videos from me. Okay, now I'll be showing you how you can automate this entire process of collecting data, saving into a Google spreadsheet and also to sending the emails to autoresponder through a group, a Chrome plugin called Groupbox. So first, uh, to get started, there are two things you need to do. First, this is not a free plugin. It's a paid plugin, but it does not have limitation. It just has one price for a lifetime uh, price. Uh, by the way, when you are watching this video, click on the link on the description to, to check whether this offer is still available for you or not. It has unlimited Facebook group. Everything is pretty much unlimited for just the price of 287 and also um, you, there's no risk involved because within first 14 days, if you are not happy with this uh, product at all, you can immediately just return it and they will return your full money. So now let's get started. First, you need to purchase this. Then you need to go into the Chrome extension store and install the add-on it offers. And you come here and click on the install button since I have already installed it it's showing the remove otherwise it will show you the install option here you can click on it to install once you've done that all you need to do is you need to go to whatever the group either you are an administrator or you have the option to control the group yeah, if you're just a member you won't be able to use this tool you need to be an administrator of the group in order to yeah, able to set this plugin up Okay, now all you need to do is once you go into the group, you need to click on this group box uh, icon. It will come up with this window pop up. All you need to do is click on the uh, group which has automatically selected. Then it will ask you to uh, enter uh, optionally if you just if you want to save the data into a Google spreadsheet apart from uh, dashboard you can give the spreadsheet link or if you don't want to save it in a spreadsheet just save all the data inside the group box platform itself you don't need to give anything else just click on save and you will be done uh, but let's for the sake of this video I want to also save this uh, data or the questions I gather from this members answers to the data uh, spreadsheet all you need to do is go inside the google drive and create a new spreadsheet uh, come here uh, create a blank spreadsheet and give whatever the name you want uh, and once you've done all you need to do is click on the share and click on get shareable link and make sure you click uh, to anyone with the link can edit and click on save now it's done just copy the link and click on done and come here click on it again and select the group and give the document sheet you want click on save now it's done 
you can see it has automatically done and the first time it will ask the permission where you need to log in with the same G Drive account you wanted click on it here make sure to click on advanced click go to group box then it will give you the allow permission and it will automatically sync now okay now it's done this is an additional stage where if you by doing this it will automatically save email addresses to your um, Google Sheet uh, when the user provides but if you want to take an extra further step where you want full 100% automation on email you can directly set up uh, they give uh, support for the top uh, 6 uh, email marketing solution whatever the solution you want you can just click on it and make sure to add and it will ask for the API key values and everything when you set up these things whenever uh, user registers uh, join sends a approval request through the group and gives us the email address it will automatically send that email uh, address to your uh, marketing uh, email marketing solution here yeah, I am not going to do this but it's possible you can everything is same where you need to give the API or similar value then it will be get automatically added once it's done just click on save and you are good to go so now whenever I want to approve the members just click on the, the go to the approval screen you would see a button with approved by group box make sure to use this particular button if you want to approve all at once just click here if you want to approve one by one you need to click here and if you uh, click the just uh, normal approval this uh, particular plugin won't get executed so make sure to do this so when you click by approve by group box now if you go into the dashboard uh, uh, of the group box you can see automatically that uh, information got recorded you can see uh, it uh, showed me uh, the questions which I asked and the answer provided by the user and also if they already pro if they provided an email address it will show the email address also we can even directly download it from here and it will download a CVS, uh, CSV data or we can use uh, this particular uh, table itself to uh, um, filter the results we are looking for we can search, make searches on it all these things are possible from here and also if I want to create a custom and lookalike audience to use uh, in conjunction with the Facebook advertising I can do that also from this button uh, so those are possible and now when I go into the Google sheet which we created you can see it has added a new record saying from which group this information was saved and the profile ID and it also gives us the question and the answer automatically recorded for all three if you just use two questions it will give you only the two questions records and you can see the email address has been automatically recorded and the member name profile URL everything is done you can see how quickly it recorded everything and if I have enabled that email automatically add the email address to the autoresponder it will have done that also automatically now just to show the speed of it if I just click approve all by group box you can see confirm and I have just done uh, all seven members now let me refresh it you can see all this information on uh, whatever the information field was get ad or got added into the system immediately without any interactions and if I go into the spreadsheet you can see immediately everything was got added uh, based on the information so you can see uh, it might not be a big deal if you are a group with just a few members or you are just getting one to two members a day but if you have a lot of uh, member requests let's say five to ten a day and especially if you are using asking custom questions to these members and you want to record in a usable and easy format here we are recording both in group boss dashboard and as well as a google spreadsheet where we can use it on a later day because remember in facebook in the moment where you press approve uh, the members uh, without this plugin all the information which was given by the user email address question data whatever the answer for the question it will get lost 
it does not store anywhere so you can go back and refer the answers given by the user so you need to have an, a stable system where you can keep record and monitor this stuff and in a later stage if you want to do some marketing purposes you want to uh, see the answers as given by the user all you can do is you can download the csv either from the down, uh, dashboard itself or you can get the csv from the uh, google spreadsheet and you can do some deep analysis based on the answers you got uh, you can improve it uh, you can make any changes and everything and also the emails automatically get stored on the database so uh, with the email marketing solution provider so you can use that email address for the your funnels and auto responders so basically it's a simple uh, add-on but it's uh, it will reduce the time a lot for you when uh, when you get many requests if you want to save this data in a meaningful way so you can uh, later get, use this data to get more insight into your member okay i hope this video was useful and if you would like to get this tool you can get uh, using the link show uh, on the video description and also i have uh, published a detailed review on sas pirate for this tool so you can check that out the link will be on the description and finally we also have a facebook group where we talk about these digital tools to help your business succeed digital marketing discussion so if you are interested in it you can join it here we are a small community but we are keep on growing and once again thank you so much for checking out this video and i hope to see you guys in another great video thank you